right, for challenge number six, I am going to show you how to do gradient text. So gradient is going from one color to the next or from light to dark. So you can see three different examples of gradients here. So it says in this challenge, you're going to choose the name of a friend, family member, or pet as your text and use it to create a gradient text effect. So Nathan and Colin are my kids. So that's why I picked them. So we're going to open Pixlr. We're going to create a new full HD document. We're going to use our paint bucket. We're going to color our background black. And then we're going to use the text tool to write our text and then customize it to our liking, drag it to the center, rasterize, name it, name one. That's a lot of steps, but I think we can do all those right away. So let's go full HD. So create new, if you didn't do so, create new. And I'm going to call this gradient. I'm going to click create. Okay, we're going to turn our background black. So if you don't have black selected as your foreground color here, click on that first circle, um, choose black and click OK. We're going to click on the paint bucket over here and then click on your background to make it black. All right, now we're ready to do our text. So go ahead and click that, click on T for text. Click add text at the top. Decide on what names you're going to type or name if you're doing only one. So I'm going to say Nathan and, oops, one seven, Nathan and Colin. I'm definitely changing my font and my color. So I'm going to go white and not this yucky font. So let's see what else I can do here. Sometimes I just go through and just go fast. <laughs> Whatever it lands on, it's like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. I come with this, lodge your bloods. No? Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Ice bold. Come on, ice bold, how come you're not working? It's kind of frozen. There we go. There's ice bold. So whatever, pick a font. Um, center, do I want this bigger? Sure, I usually like when it's bigger. I also want it to be only on one line. So I'm definitely going to adjust my size. Ooh, not that little. Let's see, let's see if I can go to 300, if that's gonna be too big, too big. So let's try 280, still too big. Let's try 270, there we go. Okay, so 270, all right. Um, it told me to put it in the center. There we go. And to rasterize, layers, rasterize. And then to rename this layer, name one. Name one. And that's as far as we got. Okay, so hopefully you got all of that done as well. Let's go back for instructions. And that took us all the way through step eight. Uh, so step nine, duplicate the layer twice. And we're going to rename them um, layers names two and three. Okay. So click the three dots, let's get out of here, duplicate and duplicate, and then we're gonna rename them name two and name three, and make sure they're in the right order. So name three should be on top, name two should be next, name one should be next, and then you should have your layer one, which is your black background, okay? So name three, name three, name three, name two, name one, layer one. All right, um, step 10, uncheck to hide layers one and two. So I'm gonna uncheck one and uncheck two to hide them. So we are on our name dash three. And now it says, um, where am I? Use the arrange tool to arrange the layers so that they fill up your screen from top to bottom. Hint, drag name three to the top, check to unhide name two, drag it to the middle, check to unhide name one, drag it to the bottom. So we basically want them on top like this, name three, name two, name one, okay? And the reason you hide them is easier to move when the other ones are hidden. So I'm gonna click on the arrange tool here in the top left. I'm gonna drag this Nathan and Colin towards the top. I'm gonna to unhide name two, click on the name two layer. So that's the one you're using and drag it to the center. Unhide name one, click on it. So it's the right one that's selected. Drag it, whoops, I'm dragging name two. Drag name one. <laughs> now I'll drag name two. All right, and I wanna keep them Try to space them out like as evenly as, as you can. You know, kind of try to visualize your page and see if it looks kind of, let me unclick and see. Um, I think this one can go down just a little. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have all those done. All right, so let's go back and we're going to be on step 12. It says with the name one layer selected, choose select, select pixels from the top of the toolbar. So let's make sure layer one is selected. I don't think it said layer one, I think it said name one, if I remember correctly. So let me just make sure with your name one layer selected. Name one, 
um, select, select pixels. And this time you're, we're not doing the inverse because we do want to color in the inside of our letters. Okay, not with the background, but with our gradient. All right. So then it says select the gradient tool, choose the type as linear, choose any gradient color options, drag your mouse from left to right, right to left, top to bottom, and or bottom to top across name one to apply the gradient, control Z to undo any and reapply if you don't like the effect. Okay, so we're gonna go to gradient on our toolbar on the left here. So gradient is down here. Make sure you choose linear, click your gradient here, and you have lots of different preset choices. If you don't like the presets, you can change the one that is up here. You click on this little anchor on the left, click on your color bucket, and decide on a color. Click OK, notice it fills in. Click on the one on the right, click on the color here, decide on a color. Okay, notice it fills in. You can add them, by the way. I can just click a little plus. How do I do that? There's a way to do it. Let me think. Oh, there we go. You just have to click in the right place. You can move this anywhere you want. You can go to the color bucket. You can put a color in the middle. Okay, so now notice I have the three colors. You can arrange these. So if you want more of a certain color, less of a certain color, okay. Um, and then because we're using the one down here with the pixels, I'm going to start on the far left. And I'm going to kind of go in, up in the corner here and I'm going to drag down to the bottom right. I'm going to let go and it fills in. You can go the opposite way. You can go up, you can go down, and whatever it is until you find something you like. If you're doing something and you don't like how it looks, just control Z to undo it. Okay, once you're happy with it, you're going to deselect by doing control D for deselect. You're gonna to go to name two. I, I can go back to the instructions and tell you, but it basically says do the same things for name two and then the same things for name three. So I'm gonna to go to name two. I'm gonna select the pixels. Okay, I'm gonna to go to gradient and choose a different gradient style and go ahead and apply it. Okay, I'm gonna deselect. I'm gonna click on name three. I'm gonna select my pixels. I already got the gradient selected, so I'm gonna find another gradient. Let's see. Okay. Something like that, I'm going to deselect it. Okay, so I have my three gradients. I'm not done. Okay, um, step 17 says for a final touch, add an overlay. Remember, you're going to go to File, Browse Elements, Overlay, and then drag the overlay layer down below name one so it's not in front of any of your gradient layers. So I'm going to go to File, Browse Elements, Overlay, and I'm going to try to find an overlay to add to my document here, maybe Christmas. Ooh, I like Christmas. Let's see how that looks. Do we need more? Maybe a little less? Oh, I don't like that at all. Let's try this one. Nope. Um, let's try this one. Okay, we're going to go with this one. And then remember, I just dragged it down below my three names so that you can, well, if I leave it up here, you can kind of see the sparkles are covering my letters. So if I move it behind or below all my names, then it goes behind. And this is basically it. Um, make any necessary adjustments if you need to do any adjustments to make it look great. And then um, go ahead and save and you are ready to submit. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.